here again with another Photoshop tutorial for you and this one I'm going to call the Hollywood Abs Technique. Now I'm going to take no credit for it whatsoever because this is a technique which Calvin Hollywood has made famous and he calls it the Dodge and Burn Technique. Now what I mean by that is this is a technique where whereas before, let's say this uh, pitch we have in front of us here of our model uh, Richard with this quite impressive set of abs if we wanted to enhance these abs in our post-production, what we could do is by pressing Command and Control J, we could get a duplicated layer, and then come over to the Tools panel on the left-hand side and use the Dodge and Burn tools to sort of paint with the Dodge tool paint over the uh, lighter parts of the abs, and with the Burn tool paint over the darker part of the abs. And over a period of time, by doing that, these abs would look a lot more enhanced than what they currently are. However, what Calvin did, he created a very, very quick technique for creating a very similar effect. And that's by using blend modes. And I want to show you that now, but in his honor, we're going to call it the Hollywood Abs Technique. So this is how we do it. Here we have our picture in front of us, okay? And in the layers panel, as, as you'd expect, it's just the one single layer, which is our background layer. Now, before we do any retouching, we're always going to work on a duplicate of that background layer in case we make any mistakes. And we can do that by pressing Command or Control J on our keyboard, which is a nice quick way of doing that. Or if we come over to the Layers panel, we could simply click on the background layer, drag and release it over the new layer icon, which will do exactly the same thing. On that background copy, the next thing we're going to do is change the blend mode of it to Vivid Light. OK. Carrying on now, the next stage we need to invert that layer and we can do that by coming to the top menu at the top of our screen, choosing Image, Adjustments and Invert and we can see that that there has its own keyboard shortcut of Command or Control I and that gives us this look. Okay, next stage, again at the top of our screen we choose the Filter menu, we go to Blur and we choose Surface Blur and that brings up this dialog box. Now you can see there's a radius and a threshold setting in here. Now I've got 20 in both and that's purely because these are the settings I've been using quite a few times now before recording this tutorial. But have a bit of a play around with them, increase them and decrease them to see what effects you get. But just for now we'll keep it at 20 on both and we're going to click OK. And once Photoshop's taken just a few seconds just to render that, we'll then be able to move on. So we'll just give it a quick second for that bar to get to the end. And there we go. So the next thing we need to do, if we come up to the Layers panel, we need to create a layer above now, which is actually a combination of these two here, which is the background and the background copy. Now there is a mammoth shortcut you can do for that, and that's by holding down your Shift, Option, Command, E, and that then creates a combination of the background and the background copy layers above it. Or, to make things nice and simple, if we come over to the Layers panel, just at the very top we have the word Opacity. On the right of that, there's a little arrow here which opens up this menu. And at the bottom we got where it says Flatten Image. Or we've got Merge Down, Merge Visible and Flatten Image. Now if we hold down our Alt and Option key and click on the Merge Visible, what will happen is that will do the same thing. So now, this layer above, if I just zoom in, Layer 1 is actually a combination of the background and the background copy. And you'll see when I zoom out, if I turn those two off, we have exactly the same image there. But what we need to do is now just throw away the background copy layer. We then need to change the blend mode of this layer to, say, Overlay, and that gives us this look. And we can see if we turn that layer on and off, we can see that this is the same technique we use for bringing out detail in the picture. But we're going to take it just a little bit of a stage further now. So. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to come to the filter menu at the top of the screen and com choose convert for smart filters. So that gives us a little bit of uh, flexibility there if the settings we use from now on aren't quite exactly what we want. But the next thing we're going to do then is choose blur again, but this time we're going to use Gaussian blur or Gaussian blur, whatever you prefer to say. Now I've got the radius in here set to 15 and I'm just going to click OK on that. And then if we just look at the picture, if I just turn this layer on and off, we can see just very slightly that the darks have gone darker and the lights have gone lighter. If I just zoom in. But one thing that's interesting, even though we've applied a blur, no detail is lost. It doesn't create like a softening to the picture at all. So if we go on and off, we can see that those abs are starting to look a little bit more enhanced. Now what we could do is increase that by duplicating this here. So the layer we've just worked on, if I now press Command J and press Command J again, so I've actually got three copies of that Gaussian or Gaussian blur layer, we can see what effect that has on the abs.
But what I'm going to do before I show you that is I'm going to click on the top layer and click, hold down my shift key and click on the very first of those layers so that they're all selected. And then I'm going to press Command or Control G to create a group. So all those there are now in the one group. Now if I just turn this on and off, we can see the effect that's having on the abdominals there. In fact, it's having it on all the whole of the picture. So to restrict that, what we can do is we can, can, we can apply a mask and we can invert that mask by pressing Command or Control I or again as before going Image, Adjustments and Invert so we create a black mask. If we then get a, bl a brush by coming over to our toolbar by or by pressing B on the keyboard okay, and we're going to use quite a soft brush and we'll bring the size up roughly, let's bring it right up to around about there, that'll be fine. Making sure that our foreground colour is set to white as we can see just here and painting at 100%, I'm just going to apply this over the abdominal area. Okay, so if you just zoom out a little bit. So now we can see when I turn this layer on and off, we can see that the rest of the picture remains as it was, but the abdominals are definitely more enhanced. You can see that the dark areas have got darker, the light areas have got lighter, and it's almost like a kind of like a 3D kind of effect created on the abdominals just there. And again, as always, if we don't like that effect, if it's a little bit too strong, we can use the opacity or the opacity and uh, just reduce that down just to control the strength that we want it to be. And I'm going to probably leave that around about, yeah, 80% will be fine. So to show you then, before and after, that's without the effect applied, that's with the effect applied. Nice and simple, but it sort of brings out what's already there. Unfortunately, this will not give you abs if you haven't already got them. So that's it. That's all for now, and I'll see you next time.